Hello and welcome to Tall Timber tutorial video number 10. In this we will be setting up the FBS Suppose growth modeling portion of Tall Timber. At this point we've imported our data, we've changed the input parameters such as species codes and basal area factor, we've generated a profile report to check on the status of our data set, and we've generated reports either individual or combined which will give us some of the data necessary to go through step five, which is the growth modeling portion. So within step five, there are several subsequent steps. We'll start with number one, changing the input parameters. So this changes a few variables associated with each stand. We'll choose the variant based on our region. Northeast is relevant for this data set. That's something that you can look up in the FVS Suppose manual. Yes is the commonly used combination um, setting. No is sometimes used based on the number of or size of plots that you have. And for each stand, we'll need to select a site index species and site index value. The next box over is going to be selecting a file location for some of the input files required for the growth modeling. In this case, as you can see, I'll go through that one more time. Just simply clicking on the box will open up a file structure, and this will be within the C drive, tall timber, and your FDL folder. And within there, you can select whatever folder is necessary uh, for your inventory. So I'll click the one that is associated with mine. And this gives the program a place to look for the files that we generate in the next step. So the simulation start year is the first year that you want your trees to grow. So if you do your inventory in the springtime, you can choose the year that you did the inventory in. But if you choose, if you've done your inventory in the fall, you may want to uh, choose the next start year. So I would choose 2018 if I did this inventory in the fall, but I did it in the spring. So 2017 it is. So I can return at this point. If you have this form empty and you try to close out of it with return, sometimes you'll run into an issue. You can simply right click and hit close if you have any issues with that. So the next step, check input, is very similar to generating a profile report. And for each of these stands, we've got that file structure that it will be looking in, the number of plots associated with the stand, and the zero tally points. As in the profile report, we always want to make sure there is the correct number of zero tally points because they are such influential plots. The variant, as we see, is as I selected northeast. And yes, we are going to combine the tree inputs. So I can return at this point and finally create input files. So that file structure that we selected in step one is going to be where these files are going to be generated. So when I click on this, it will generate a file with the suffix .loc. This one will be .slf, and this one will be .fbs. So these are all necessary files for FVS suppose. So I'll simply click each of the buttons. If I were to click one a second time, it will let me know that a file already exists. And if I hit OK, it will overwrite the file. So this is just fine if you're all right with doing away with some of the previous information, but you've changed, if you have changed the location of any of your databases or you want to withhold some of the growth information from a previous data set, you want to make sure that these files are going to be generated in a unique and separate folder. So I'll click return here. And the next step, which we will cover in the next video, is launching FVS Suppose. <laughs> Thank you.